loud. Welcome everybody. What's today? Today so is September 21st. September 21. Team call. This is all about onboarding. And the cool thing about this call is we have multiple teams all joining together to talk about how are we onboarding our people. I'm going to share screen as long as I can find it. Here it is. And let's get this show on the road. Okay. Onboarding 101. Welcome, everybody. My name is Mariah Brown. I'm a qualified national marketing director. There's my three babies. Yes, I'm a mom. I've got a six year old, a four year old, and a one year old. So let's talk about onboarding. Sorry. There we go. Did you guys know that this is never, there's never been a better time than right now to take on the, 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 the mission? of making a difference around the world, 25 countries, a product line that nothing is ever going to match, uh, the most researched up with plant powder on the globe, and everything at our fingertips, the ease, the, the energy, the overall healthy living revolution mission. You guys, this is such a great time to be joining in this mission. And at the end of the day, I love what our corporate leaders say. It's um, about doing a few products really well rather than a lot of things not so well. And yes, Juice Plus, amazing. The most researched supplement on the globe. The Tower Gardens, what a phenomenal way to grow produce. Um, macronutrients, micronutrients, and at the end of the day, it's the community and the people and the culture that keep people in this because we have something that is so special and so heart-centered. So as we're onboarding people, we want to engage them in that community and the culture from the get-go. We want to help them set, help everyone have an early win for, at the very beginning so they can really see the legitimacy of what it is that we're offering and to feel that sense of, all right, this is doable, I can do this. And the whole focus is we want to build their belief in obviously the products. We have to help people understand the value of flooding our body with as many vine ripened, whole, raw, toxin free plants as possible and help people really believe in the power of that, but also to build belief in the company, the community, the culture, what we all have to offer. 48 years old, um, really, Jay Martin says it. He says, it's not about being the best company in the world. It's about being the best company for the world. So the sooner we can bring new team members into really embodying that, feeling that and understanding it, awesome. And then obviously the industry, direct selling, consumer to consumer, person to person, belly to belly, help our team members really feel proud to be part of this industry, the number one industry growing female millionaire. So I get to now introduce Miss Lacey Wheeler. She's a qualified National Marketing Director out of Colorado, and she's going to be talking with us a little bit about that community piece. So Lacey, please unmute yourself, and we want to hear what you have to say. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mariah. So you guys, I'd really like to share with you the importance of engaging in community and feeling a part of the broader Juice Plus culture. So even our Juice Plus CEO has said that it's not the products that keep people here, it's the culture and the community that keep people. Because in the end, we all have or will have a story about how the Juice Plus products or the business has changed our life. But my story is about how I credit our Juice Plus community and culture with actually saving my life. So I'm going to give you a little bit of background. If I said I was raised in an extremely strict, emotionally and mentally abusive, and fanatically religious household, I want you to multiply that by a thousand. In this particular religion, you are not allowed to have friends outside of the religion. So I had acquaintances at school, but I was never allowed to see them outside of school hours. So I never formed deep friendships or lifelong friends. So my life absolutely resolved, or excuse me, revolved around this religion and the friends and the family I had within that community until the age of 23 when I decided to forge my own path in life. And that was shunned enough within that religion that there was an announcement made in front of every friend or family member I had ever had that they were no longer allowed to speak with or associate with me. So imagine at the age of 23, losing your family, your circle of friends and your entire community. It was a lifetime's worth of loved ones up until that point in my life. So as close 
as it was as close as I can imagine dying feeling like. It set me on a spiral for the next eight years of depression, extremely low self-esteem and self-confidence. I cycled through years of antidepressants, therapy, psychologists, counselors, and doctors, but not much helped because nothing brought my family and friends back. When I was actually introduced to this business, I was in one of the deepest spirals of depression in my life. I wasn't sure that I even wanted to live. But at my very first Juice Plus event, I heard a man named Chris Cotton, whom he and Nikki, his wife, have become the dearest friends and mentors, and I'm so excited that you'll get to hear from them a bit later. But I heard Chris give a talk about the importance of building belief in yourself, and I wept the entire time. He mentioned that this business was actually a personal development program in disguise, and I could not then know how true those words were. But I realized then that I had no self-confidence and no belief in myself, but that I had finally found a community of people where I felt like I could build that and who wanted to help and wanted me to be the best version of myself and had my back the whole time. And that has been more true than I can ever say. There are honestly not words to express you guys how grateful I am for this Juice Plus community. I, I have forged deep friendships with people who have become like mothers and fathers like Chris and Nikki Cotton and brothers and sisters like the others on this call that are going to pour into you. I feel like I have a family again. It feels like going home. And a part of the beauty of this culture and community is that it's given me permission I didn't have growing up to figure out who I am, what I believe, what my values are. And it's created the space and the energy and the atmosphere to be able to really dig deep within myself, to journey to places that have helped me find my strength and my power, and to experience connection and friendship like I've never known before. So when I was growing up, love was always conditional. I never knew what unconditional love looked or felt like. One thing I've learned since then is that you can only love and give love to the level that you've received love. And you can only love to the level that you love yourself. This community and culture has nurtured me so much that not only have I had the perfect environment from which to grow in self-love and self-worth in order to be able to give love more unconditionally, which that in turn allows me to make an even bigger impact on this world, right? When you love others unconditionally, you can go out and have that love to give. But also I have never experienced unconditional love like we have in this community. They have taught me to love more deeply and more freely than anything I've ever been a part of. So I beseech you to step into this community with your arms and your mind and your heart wide open. Wow, sorry. <laughs> because we are here on this earth to find our passion and to impact others, but also to make connection. This community, it can become your tribe. I cannot highlight or emphasize enough, you guys, the importance of connecting with your sponsor, with your national marketing director and locking arms with these friends and sideline buddies in this business attending online and physical events like this to immerse yourself in this amazing culture and community. The education you'll receive from these events will give you the tools you'll need to be successful, but it's the connections you make with the people and the unbelievable friendships that you'll form within this community that will keep you going and raise you up to levels you never knew existed and give you the strength and the courage and the energy to go out and make a big impact on this world. Aw, Lacey, we love you so much. And we're so grateful to be part of this community with you. So do you guys get the feeling? It's, yes, you're going to change your health journey. Yes, you're going to change your financial journey. And you're going to be embraced by a community of people and change who you are. So the sooner you engage in the community, the more successful your experience is going to be. Next, I get to introduce my husband, Mr. Michael Brown, also qualified national marketing director. And he's going to chat with us about your why. Awesome. Thank you, Mariah. And Lacey, I just, I love your heart. I love you so much. And you, your words are just so powerful. So I want to talk about our why. And so I think um, as as team leaders, as sponsors, people who are sponsoring others, um, it is our job to understand people's why. 
It is our job to understand people's why. Why did they choose to sign up to start this nutritional program? Was it they saw the value in, in flooding their body with more plants? Was it, <laughs> was it to improve the quality of their health? Was it because um, they wanted to have a personal transformation? Okay, so when people, and, 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 when they're, and when they're having struggles, we get to help them through that. We get to coach them through that, bring them back to their why. When we have team members who sign up, why did they get on board? Did they want uh, to bolster their budget? Do they want to transform their financial quality of life? Um, because we know we can benefit. Did they sign up because they know that they can benefit from having more money? They can do more good in the world for their family, et cetera. Um, so some people start out, you know, Chris and Nikki Cotton say, uh, some people start out because of inspiration. Some people start out because of desperation. Some people with the inspiration, they see the larger picture. picture they want to uh, they want to have more of an impact in the world. They, they're totally in alignment with the mission. Some people are out of, out of desperation. For instance, with me, you know, I'm not a big fan of, of the way in which my physical therapy career is going, and I want out. I want out of that, and I want into something that is preventative care, self-care, and, and proactive instead of reactive. Um, and so in our community, in our Juice Plus community, our tribe, as Lacey called, in our tribe, we are the vision holders and the dream holders. We stand for people uh, standing for the. We stand for people being in power instead of enabling their excuses. Um, Lauren Lahav says all excuses are equal. Okay, and when somebody is talking to us and they're saying, "Gosh, I really want to be able to transform um, transform my my uh, my health, my wealth for my children, for myself." And, and then at the same time, they're also saying, but I can't do this. I can't pick up that hundred pound phone and call somebody. I can't just, well, then we get to say, look, your reason for being on board with this journey was to make this transformation. How can I support you through it? Let's lock arms and let's take steps together. When we know their why, we get to stand for their why sometimes when they don't have the strength to do that. And I think that's incredibly powerful. Some people uh, talk about your why should make you cry. It doesn't necessarily need to make you cry, but at the same time, it needs to hit you in the feels. You need to feel it deep in your heart, why it is that you are doing what you're doing. And when we embody that energy, we are tapping into the true strength that comes from our vulnerability and our authenticity. We get to be radically authentic, going out there and communicating with people. And when we do that, Brene, what Brene Brown says is when we are being radically authentic, we are being vulnerable, then we have the opportunity to make real connections. When we, have, when we make real connections, we earn respect, we earn trust, we can then tap into deeper love, and that's where the real magic happens. So when you know your why and you share that why with this conscious group of, of tribe members, then nothing can stop you, which means everything is in your favor. And if you're new, Talk with the person who brought you on. Really get into, why am I doing this? Okay, a little bit deeper. And if you've been doing this for a month, a year, 10 years, allow yourself to revisit that why. Because guess what? Every morning we get to wake up and hire ourselves to start all over. And because it's a new day and today can be the greatest day of our life. Next, I get to invite Miss and introduce Miss Iggy, Michelle Igluski. We call her Iggy in this community. And Iggy's going to talk with us about events. Awesome. Thanks, Mariah. Super excited. So um, why events and why scheduling your events right out the get go guys the, the events are like the backbone of your of this this franchise. It's so amazing. And it, there's fun. And th you, they need to happen right away. So get them on the schedule, meet with your sponsor, look at the calendar and get something in there right away because that is what's going to move your business forward and give you success right out the gate. It's going to be fabulous. Um, plan well, your sponsor will help you with that. Invite, 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 get people um, to those events. You're going to create something amazing. And something that I learned that I, I, it's, it, it's so important. Never, ever, ever cancel an event. You have one person there. That could be the one person that could, you could change somebody's life. See, now I'm getting emotional. Lacey, you got me started already. <laughs> um, 
but it's so important that just keep them on the books. I remember hearing someone say one time that they went over to a, their sponsor, this, this person went over to a new rep's house and there weren't any guests there. She said, okay, get out your phone. We're going to do a text blitz right now. And they started calling people and just going over it. They create an event within the event that kind of didn't happen. It's so important. Um, so I'm going to give you some examples of some events, events that you can do. And oh my gosh, there's so much fun, guys. There, there's so many options for you. And pick something that you enjoy, something that you love to do. Uh, we do things like Powerball parties. In fact, we have one coming up like in a couple weeks since it's football season called Super Ball Party. It's amazing. Um, back to school, healthy lunch with kids and nutrition. Salad in a jar. Soup in a jar when the weather gets cooler smoothies and swimming when it's warmer um, a mocktail extravaganza oh my gosh and I tell you those mocktails taste fantastic um, yoga events bend and blend um, wellness and wardrobe um, then we have things like zoom events which are fantastic we have a take healthy back call which is um, very consistent every week we meet Tuesdays at 5 30 Pacific time and we meet Saturdays at 9 a.m. Pacific time and they're fantastic I tell you that people when you get them on that call they're they're on board they get what we have um, so well done and it's so easy in the comfort of your own home can't beat that um, we also do shred zoom parties when we're getting ready to uh, prepare for the shred no better way than bring people on board um, a coffee talk and tower garden at a coffee shop something else that's super important to focus on um, com community support regardless of geography so let's say your sponsor doesn't even live in the same city you're in or the same state an example for me, I have a friend who lives in uh, Chicago, who's a rep of mine, and we actually, she actually zoomed me in. She started doing salad in a jar parties, and she didn't even do them at her home. She did them at coffee shops. She did it at a bakery. She did it in random places, and she would zoom me in for the last 10 minutes and let me close out the party for her. And every party that has happened, she either had a, um, Someone ordered Juice Plus, sign up on the shred. Someone was onto our mission and super excited, so they joined our team. That's just fabulous. You can get creative and, and bring people in. Wherever you are geographically, you can connect with um, your sponsor and people who can help you along your journey. Uh, then also something as far as events that's like the Kahuna, the Super Bowl of ours is building for conference get yourself to conference those type of events are so super important it's crucial that you plug in and you stay connected with your business i would not be here today if i did not go to conference and i did because of chris cotton calling me random on the phone he didn't even know me i didn't know him and said hey there's a conference in your town you should go check it out and it changed my world. Um, so you build the relationships with people and then let the events build um, your business. It's, Thank it's you so much, Iggy. That was so perfect. It's amazing. We are doing a good job of fitting a lot of information into a little bit of time, and that was awesome. I love what you had to say about conference and just to, to offer the breadth of events. There's in-home events, there's Zoom events, attract your tribe your people because remember it's the community lock arms with sideline by buddies upline buddies team members friends that are that aren't even team members yet and build that community together so next i get to introduce missy who's a sales coordinator in southern oregon she is our social media guru so miss missy please unmute yourself and let's hear what you've got to say awesome okay so I'm so glad I get to talk about social media because I, I know I won't cry, which is awesome because Lacey, you got me tearing up with your <laughs> when you got started. I'm like, yes, I'm not going to cry on this one. Um, so, you know, when people are first getting started, a lot of times they'll say, listen, I don't have a lot of followers. I'm not an Instagram success. How, you know, how, how can I brand myself? What, what do I need to do? And it's so simple. Be you. Wow, that's hard. Okay, next slide. I mean, really, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Success is about being you online. So who are you? Be authentic. Be real. What are you interested in? What drives your life? What gets you fired up? What makes you um, excited to wake up in the morning? You want to share all of that with people. Um, 
So when we're just, when we're first onboarding our, our new team, we really want to teach them to A, be authentic, be themselves, post about their life, and then when they're going to post about the business or our awesome products, we want them to shut the JP up. Not because we don't love Juice Plus, but because people will go to Google University. Two, one of two things will happen. They will either get fed misinformation or they will go and get fed the correct information and then they'll go order on their own. And you just, poof, that, that customer is now gone. So we wanna make sure that people come back to us for information. We wanna use words like plant produce concentrates, encapsulated produce, plant micronutrition, um, a virtual franchise. So we really wanna get curiosity stirring in people. And these words, we'll, we'll make sure everybody has this. So if you aren't already using this verbiage, you can have it because it really does make a difference in when you're posting on social media for people to just go, what is encapsulated produce? I'm gonna go and ask her. Go ahead and, and do the next one, Mariah. Um, examples of your first posts on social media is you know, I'm, hey, I'm so excited to begin adding in 30 to 50 extra raw toxin free plants into my body every day. Simple picture of the capsules, or even better if you're comfortable with it, a, a picture of your happy smiling face, right? So the more you can put yourself out there, which can feel a little vulnerable if you're not used to doing that, the better your, go your um, engagement's gonna be because people feel like they know you. So we have a couple of options, you know, if you're doing the shred, there's another, you could do a post about the shred 10 program. Maybe you're really excited to get started about the Shred 10 program and you're gonna put it out there telling people, wow, I found a doable detox. And maybe you're gonna ask a question at the end. I'd love to have a friend or two to do this with, any takers. And then your upline will help you. They will help talk you through how to talk to those people who've commented on your posts, those people who've liked your posts in an effective way. So when you're posting on social media, if you haven't been posting about your personal life, please start there. Don't jump in with Juice Plus and go, now all of a sudden I'm gonna start plant posting about these plant powders. No, 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 people, you haven't given people a chance to get to know you. So make sure that you are posting about your life, your kids, your pets, your travel, all of your real life content. If that isn't something you were doing prior to joining our mission, you need to start there. And then you can slowly work in your business into it. So 80%, if you're someone who's even super active on social media, 80% of your posts need to all be personal and relatable. Only 20% should be business or product, and those 20% need to be subtle. We want to get people creative. Go ahead, Mariah. Or we want to get people curious, and we want to create curiosity. So think about when you've seen a movie preview. They're flashing little snippets at you. You're going, oh, what is that? What's that about? I'm so curious. But you don't know the ending. You don't even really know the plot. But you know you're, you're curious enough to want to know more and go see the movie. And think about it that way when you're posting on social media. Keep your, you know, post a picture of your kid picking some greens off the tower garden. People will see the tower garden. You don't even have to say anything about it. Just my son's harvesting his produce. And people will go, what is that thing, right? So keep them curious. And um, that's sort of just my little snippets there. And I think I stuck to time. <laughs> that was absolutely perfect, Missy. I always love whenever you have anything to say about social media. So next I get to introduce Miss Nikki Cotton. She's a National Marketing Director 100 Club. For those of you that are new, you might not know what that means, but it means that she's impacted a lot of lives and she's been very successful with this. So Miss Nikki gets to tell us a little bit more of kind of the nuts and bolts of well, now what? What are some specifics? So Miss Nikki, unmute yourself and here we go. I'm unmuted and here I am. How do you guys like the way I surf? <laughs> no board, not getting wet, my perfect style of surfing. So um, first of all, some really important things to understand at the very beginning of your business, just like Mariah said at the beginning, connection is the key to what we do. It's absolutely the key. So if it is the key, you're gonna unlock it with a welcome call within 72 hours. I'd love to see it within 48 if possible. So that's really important. And a welcome call just looks like you getting on the call with your person and your expert. It could be your upline NMD, which would be Chris or I, depending on your team. And then the final piece of that is there is, um, on Mission Driven Model, there is a great explanation of exactly how to do a three-way call. And your job when you're doing that is to zip it and let the expert do the talking um, and make sure that the expert knows a little bit about your person. Second thing is your memory jogger. Oh my gosh, you guys, the memory jogger needs to be seen as a living entity. And my favorite memory jogger is writing down names on anything. 
a spiral notebook. You can do it from the, um, I, I personally like the one on the mission driven model specifically. There's one on the Freedom Revolution, which has too many lines on it for me. The important thing is get the names down with the phone number. And I think it's really important that you star the first 10 people that you're most excited and want to introduce first to what you're up to. Number three, I put my timer on and I forgot to press the start button. I've been looking down, I still have a full four minutes. The third thing is um, your Voxer, Voxer, another piece of all these first three things by connection welcome call, connection memory jogger, connection Voxer, starting that power Voxer <coughs> chat with you, your upline and your brand new distributor so that it's a place they feel safe and they can ask lots of questions. That's just absolutely the key piece. Um, and once they've done their private Voxer, move them on to the larger Voxer group. And the whole thing, guys, is, is if you can't, I looked at Voxer today, somebody asked a question about sugar. Everybody answered it before I got to do my best job and then there was nothing left for me to do. I was like, ah, I'm not needed. It's perfect to not be needed. The third thing is Zoom for multimedia. Just like you're doing it now, it's great to have a share Zoom when you're walking somebody through their website, for example. I think when you get somebody up and running, it's important that you get them on their website for the first time. You walk them through it. You show them how to uh, enter their first order and um, how the difference between a regular order and a child's uh, family health study order. Um, and you can do that on, on Zoom. Even welcome calls, better than we get to see each other's faces and you see if somebody is connecting or they're not connecting. And then you have a way to maybe lift them up and reconnect them because you see, you know, looking in somebody's eyes, really important. And the way that I'm seeing using the Freedom Revolution, I think the Freedom Revolution is an awesome, awesome place for resource. I think it's most important when you start somebody to get them active, do the events like Iggy talked about, do that welcome call, get that memory jogger, do a text bliss with them. But there's no better support for you and backup than getting them to look at the Freedom Revolution and look at some of the stories, especially those minute ones besides the videos. They're awesome. And then um, and, and learning how to tell your story. Work on that on your Voxer chat. How many of you have been afraid to actually tell your story? And we say, tell it. Oh no, I wanna, I, I wanna just write it out. Write it out and tell it. And then tell it again, and then tell it again. So like Burdick, Sue Burdick says at 3 a.m., if she called you up at 3 a.m. and said, what's your story you could go right into? Before my life was like this, now it's like this. I am so thankful, whatever that is in between, but that you can do it right away. And then um, the, the casting your vision and marketing plans can be found so easily on the Freedom Revolution. Find out from your upline <clears throat> sponsor where and how to find those. And I think I've done it. Right on schedule. Awesome. So what else? No, we're, I am your desk, thanks. Um, what else, some other little nuts and bolts? You've got the missiondrivenmodel.com, holy macaroni. It's a resource for everything else. Pretty much any question you have, you can find the answer there each step of the way ask your mentor for what's next and your mentor can send you to the system once again we cannot duplicate ourselves but we can duplicate the system and so as soon as you engage yourself in what the resources are and what the system is the more success you're going to have and it then makes it fun and easier to bring on your own team members because it's not all on your shoulders you've surrounded yourself by the community that's going to help and you have a system in place through mission driven model Really quickly, what's the first goal? I'll just go over it laser sharp. It's called your 2000 plus. So you have your first 60 days, or if you're rehiring yourself and you haven't yet done it, any 60 day period between yourself and seven or more other households to attract 2000 or more PVC and one or more team members. And with that, you're gonna give yourself a 14% raise, you're gonna receive a $300 bonus check, your sponsor's gonna receive a $300 bonus check, and you get a free conference ticket. So please talk with your mentor, your sponsor, any of your community, your sideline buddies, your upline national marketing director. If you're not really clear on what this is, it is absolutely worth putting a little bit of extra time and energy in in that 60 day period to finish this out. Because remember, all raises are permanent. And then reassess. Okay, now what? Now what do I want to do? So 
Are you chasing your butterflies? Mariah, before you hit that one thing, just for the recording purpose, it's missiondrivenmodel.info. So anybody watching the recording, you won't catch the chat. It's missiondrivenmodel.info. Thank you, Nikki. My bad. So you're good. In, <laughs> somebody said it's a personal development program cleverly disguised as a franchise. So those moments when you feel the little butterflies in your stomach and you're maybe a little bit out of your comfort zone, are you allowing yourself to chase those butterflies, to grow, to grow into your bigger self? They say that, um, I love the quote, just outside of your comfort zone and supported by a community of like-minded supportive people is where magic happens. And that's when our Wonder Woman gets to come out. So next I get to introduce our last person, Mr. Chris Cotton, also National Marketing Director, 100 Club, who likes to eat a lot of chard. And yeah. he's going to piggyback what Iggy said about conference and close us out in a couple minutes. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Mariah. And thank, thanks all of you. And thank you for the tears, Lacey. It got us all. Um, so yeah, conference time is coming up and, and you know, I, I have this conversation now two or three times a day uh, because most people don't get the vision of why conference is so important. And, you know, there's a million ways to say it, but I, I want to share something with this group right now and whoever listens to the recording that to, to help them really understand how big a decision this is. And I, I thought of it um, actually earlier today when I was talking with you, Mariah, that um, <clears throat> people don't realize, first of all, this is not an expense. Conference is never an expense. It's an investment in your future. And the return on investment, return on yeah, investment on this is huge. So, Often, for a long time, I've been saying, uh, whatever it costs you to go to conference, in the next 90 days, you'll probably have that in your, back in your pocket. But the, the, the issue to remember is that everything we do creates residual income. So let's just throw out a number. It's going to cost you $1,000 to go to Tampa. Well, you, the contagiousness that you pick up, the energy that you pick up, and then it comes through, people have that Harry met Sally syndrome, you know, I'll have what she's having. I don't know what she's on, but I want to be on it. Um, so maybe it, it pays you $300 more in the next month, but that 300 is residual. And by the time the 90 days roll around, you've got your money back in your pocket and it's going to continue to come, continue to come right into Sacramento six months later. So I'm going to summarize that by saying, not going to conference, there's no doubt in my mind will be the biggest financial mistake of your year, if not your career. Okay. And it could be your career because people that don't show up at conference have a tendency to not be at the next one and their business just dwindles. So I hope that wasn't too much on the less positive side, but the, the message is clear, right? What's the positive side? Show up, <laughs> <laughs> show up and party, rock the, rock the yacht. I'm good. All right, you guys. What an awesome call. I'm going to stop recording and thank you for your time. Welcome to the team. Welcome to your onboarding. And we're just excited to help you guys watch you all lift up, grow, get healthier, make more money, surround yourself by a more vibrant, more like-minded community that really wants you to be the best version of yourself. And in the journey, show up in a better version of yourself and let your Wonder Woman or your Superman Soar. So stop recording. Whoop, whoop. Do you want to stop iCloud? Yeah.